What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for any future updates. If you guys are new to this channel, we've had a lot of bad things happen in the past week. If you guys missed it, um, there's a week, probably a week's worth of videos just kind of keeping you guys up to date about the beast. Um, right here we've had a mini tank crash. Um, all kinds of things happen right now. Everything seems to be stabling out, um, and I'm probably going to have to owe that to uh, Brightwell Aquatic, Aquatics. Brightwell Aquatics, excuse me, um, with their purit. So whatever was contaminants got in this aquarium, I think it helped mine it up. It's a matter of fact. I actually going to get ready and switch that out probably sometime today. I'm really busy today, trying to get a lot of things done. Um, I know you guys are wondering about the uh, dehumidifier. So up here, as you can see, uh, my humidity is kind of high uh, in the room, and it's been like that for a little for a little while. I do leave the window open all night, all day. Um, I know, right? You got to remember, I could still run air. My vents are closed off down here because this is a basement. The basement really stays cool, so we're you know, over six feet down in the ground. So it really stays really cool all year round. Uh, and when it's hot upstairs and the air conditioner is struggling because of, you know, the front of the house, the bricks and all that, um, it really stays cool down here. So we have a dehumidifier. Oh, real quick before I forget, this whole section here, we are uh, cleaning it using um, some of the new salt that uh, Brightwell uh, kindly helped us out with the tank problems we were having. So I added, uh, started doing water change on this as well to help acclimate the corals over to the new salt. And second all, because this aquarium hasn't had any water changes. Calcium reactor has been out for months. DKH is probably three, maybe two on this aquarium. I know. What? Yes. It, you can run aquariums with that, that low. Ask Stan from Tidal Gardens. Um, you know, it's just, you get busy, things kind of creep down, we forget to, you know, not forget to get our CO2 tanks uh, filled for calcium reactors, but it happens. So, this is all getting tore down. So, for you guys, this is a large room. This is a long room. Okay, this is the fish room on this side, aquarium room, whatever you guys want to call it. This whole lovely wall here is going to be filled with aquariums. So I'll talk to you later about that. Real quick, before we get into the dehumidifier and setting up and unboxing that, JBJ65 is uh, doing well. Uh, we left some of the euphilias in here. I think I'm going to put some more euphilia stuff over here. Um, I don't know yet what we're doing with me giving this away yet. I need you guys to leave me comments in the comment section down below. Obviously, there was a, uh, you know, a, a challenge between me and CJ. Obviously, things happen. That is no longer. Uh, just because that challenge is over doesn't mean that we shouldn't still have fun uh, ourselves. So somebody can uh, at least get this aquarium and all the equipment on it. Right now, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use it just to house some of the corals that are um, in here. Don't mind the glass. Um, we're going to put some of those corals probably over there just to use this as a holding with the Chicago uh, them. Now, with that being said, this is the dehumidifier that I had. This is not working uh, to keep up with all this water load for, for this room. Okay, so let me get you guys on a stand. Let me flip you around to to Soto uh, to soap uh, dehumidifiers. That is what we're gonna do. Uh, so I'm gonna flip this camera around and we're gonna unbox this so you guys can see what we're doing. All right, everyone. As you guys know, it's very important, you know, to make sure humidity in your house, you know, is not crazy. Because the last thing we want for any of us that's in loves our fish rooms and our bigger aquariums or 
multitude of aquariums is humidity. I'm serious. You do not want to rot your house out, create unhealthy environments, mold spores, and all this stuff. It's very unhealthy. So um, I, I was uh, actually looking for, for a good dehumidifier. And uh, since I was looking, I also um, reached out and see if we can uh, get you guys, you know me. I'm always trying to make sure somebody's always doing something and giving back to the community. So with that being said, uh, there is going to be a promo code. Um, I think it's a 10 or 20% discount um, on this as well uh, for you guys that uh, maybe need a dehumidifier. They come in all different kinds of uh, sizes and everything for whatever your square footage of your home is or whatever. Uh, for me, I had to get a 45, 70 pints. I think this is uh, 4,500, uh, 3,000 to 4,500 square, square feet uh, to make sure. Now, you might go through more evap but at the end of the day i really don't care i just don't want my house to rot and mold to you know whatever i do have circulation i have uh a fan exhaust fan that's pulling air constantly out the house and even with that i am right now starting to see maybe because of change of the seasons getting into fall um i'm starting to see an uh, increase in humidity i can't have that if that's going to be a problem, then I'm going to have to limit what I do as far as aquariums. Well, I don't want to do that neither. So let's get this thing open and see. Oh, I make that easy. That is really easy. This is really nice. Uh, so like I said, guys, uh, I'm always trying to look out. We have uh, some lines here, all that cool stuff. I'm always trying to look out, making sure that you guys can get something. If I'm getting something, I want you guys to be able to uh, reap the benefits, reap the benefits as well in some fashion or form or way. Uh, obviously, this is all about education, you know, helping people to develop their reefing skills. But there's other things that is involved besides just the aquarium, like humidity. You know, how do you, how do you manage that? You know, if you start having mold and stuff, especially with people that have significant others that, you know, don't like the hobby in the first place, and then you're compounding and having other things, they're really not going to like it, and they might make you, force you to get out the hobby. We don't want that. We want everybody to stay in the hobby and do great things. So let's get this Unbag, unbox, and it's a lot of tape. I'll tell you what, these so uh, pretty protected pretty well, to be quite honest. All right, so camera died as we were trying to get it all unfolded. So we got it unfolded, got, you know, lined, kind of got it unwrapped here. I still got to take off some more plastic, obviously. But let's get this thing all put in place so we can get it up and running. And then I can give you guys more of uh, my final thoughts of this unit. I must say, it, 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 it looks really, really, really nice. Really clean. Really, it looks really high tech, too. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So I'm going to get this over there. I'm going to get it all uh, in place. And we're going to turn it on for you guys. Sorry, I'm just like, I'm trying to talk about little things like this. Just irritate me. But, uh. So we got this bad boy. We're gonna make sure if she's up to the task. I'll give you guys a, you know, update on that uh, after a while. It's been up and running like anything else. I don't really like to give, you know, uh, reviews on stuff. I mean, you know, straight out the box, uh, per se. You know, it looks really nice. It looks really beefy. It looks really high tech. Uh, but we need to see how she's gonna perform. Um, don't forget, uh, also I'm going to be putting a link uh, for one of these in the video. If you guys uh, need one for your home, I think it's, uh, for me, it's definitely a must. I'm not going to allow any kind of uh, high humidity to ruin my home or jeopardize the health of me or my family. So let me get this installed and I'll be right back. Just trying to get this in position. 
I must say, I love the fact that this is a uh, like your RODI line uh, versus, you know, I don't know, some of you guys know, like the garden hose. I like this 10 times better. And they give you a lot of it. So I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to plug it in the back. Back here. One simple little hole here. I don't know if you guys can see this. But anyway, make sure it's snug fit there. I'll be running this line through here into my sump. All the extra line through here into my sump area. Uh, so, yeah. Fine with me. Curl it up. Get out the way here. Got moisture, like I said, humidity. Got my plug right here. All right. So Power on, we have filter that says non stop. Um, we don't want it too low. Um, we got a pump, which I like. Um, yeah, so I must say, um, uh, we get a high or low fan speed. I like that. Gives you the option there. Medium, all. Oh, medium. So high, medium, and low. Uh, right now, we're going to kick this up to high. It says humidity in here is 60. We're going to bring that down. Um, say 45 for right now. Um, that's fine with me. And uh, I like the time option. You got uh, two hours, four hours, and then you got pump. So this one does come with a pump. Like I said, it's really nice. I think it's going to help out a lot. So we'll see. All right, everyone. With that being said, we got, we got the dehumidifier up and running, giving you guys an update on that. We'll do an exclusive update my final thoughts and stuff about that but i like to share everything and um that i have going on the good the bad the ugly as you guys know um there are going to be like i said several changing changes here also real quick we we did uh have to change out something else my uh Pump started leaking, going bad around the seal. So uh, we did change that out. Uh, I can show you real quick. Let me turn this around real quick for you. All right, so as you guys can see here, I put a um, Vector L1 on my mixing station. Uh, I had to change that out. My other pump went out. So, you know, we put that on the mixing station. So it gives me more control as well on what I want. I did tell you guys I might be doing something with the plumbing uh, as well. Don't know yet to pump water in, but also take water out. I still have to see what I'm going to do with that and how I'm going to do it. But we'll see about that. But I just want to let you guys know mixing station did get changed. Also... While we're in the filtration room, I will be doing an update of my whole filtration walkthrough, the whole nine yards of everything in here. Now, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for an update videos, but you under, got to understand a lot of bad things happened this past week. So, so I've been going through the ringers with that. I got to change up this whole room again, should I say this angle, uh, my whole room here, my this my long wall here as you guys can see I want tanks 
And I'm going to be tearing this whole system down here and providing something else for you guys as well. i got to clean up my studio. My desk is full and cluttered. I need some shelving. I need a bunch of help. So I'm trying to do my best. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you aren't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for any future updates. Also, a link for the new de uh, uh, dehumidifier for anybody that's, uh, you know, needing something for humidity. Obviously, a lot of us with our fish rooms end up having a lot of aquariums. And all that cool stuff. So make sure you guys go check them out if you need um, a discount code or anything. Like I said, I love giving back. I love making sure everybody, if I'm reaping the benefits of something, you do too. In some way, shape, or form. So make sure you guys go check that out. If you need one, they got many different sizes. The link will take you to their probably Amazon or their main page or wherever it takes you. Um, go check it out. With that being said, guys. Keep your head up, keep it positive, and keep it moving. Peace.